Mariners are currently up 3-1 at Petco Park over the Padres in the bottom of the eighth with Ryan Stenick. Pitching, 2-2 two -two count, nobody on, nobody out. Mm, full count now. Uh, but basically, I wanted to hop on and talk about the game and some of the stuff that's been going on around the Mariners. So, cool thing about this game is since it's spring training, Bryce Miller had a little bit of a tough inning down in the third inning that he got pulled from. They got out of the inning with the reliever, um, and then Miller got to come back in for another one and two-thirds, one and a third innings to pitch um, a total of four innings today, and I think that's really cool for spring training to allow pitchers to do that. I also know that Major League Baseball wants to put more emphasis on starting pitchers. There's a proposal that if you pull your starting pitcher before, like, the sixth inning, you would lose the DH for the rest of the game, which is just the opposite of good baseball. The Just the opposite of making baseball better. That's, yeah. Um, Brian Wu was placed on the injured list to start the season due to some elbow inflammation in his pitching arm. Uh, Ryan DeVish said that the Mariners don't think that it's a big deal, and he'll probably just be out for a little while. They are being... Cautious. Uh, they are being incredibly cautious with Brian Wu uh, because it's important to be cautious with your pitchers, and when you are not cautious, you end up causing injuries to them, like what happened with Otani last year with the Angels, where he wasn't cautious. Wu going on the 15 day day out, he'll probably miss two to three starts. Um, his MRI showed nothing structurally wrong, just some inflammation. Shut down for seven days. He'll probably come throw on the 8th or ninth, maybe 10th day, depending on how it is. And then on the 15th or 16th day, come off the IL, make his start, slide into the rotation. It'll likely allow Emerson Hancock time to come into the rotation for a little bit before going back down. Um, he was already optioned once from Major League to Minor League for this season, so he can go up and down as much as he likes. Um, Emerson Hancock's not a bad pitcher. Uh, it's just, I would really like Wu to be healthy. You, you know, it's an important thing for your your team to be healthy. Um, the umpire today stunk. Just straight up stunk. Um, lots of issues, lots of missed calls at the plate. Uh, one of Miller's walks really was a strikeout. Um, a couple of weird innings, or a couple of weird things happened. Uh, in the game, Cal Raleigh had a very strange error for him where he threw a attempt to catch a runner into the outfield for no reason. Not, not the end of the world. Um, there are a few prospects in this game just because it is still spring training. The game is happening at Petco, which is cool. I like this and I hope they do this every year in some way so that that way teams can have a chance to play in the big league parks the week before uh well not the week before but like basically right before opening day which will allow some fun things to happen and it, it just feels like a real baseball game if you know what i'm saying whereas spring training doesn't spring training doesn't have stat cast because they're not in regular stadiums there's lasers and stuff for StatCast, and I like StatCast. I think StatCast is really cool because I like knowing how far the home run wins um, and all those things. Uh, Ty France has a couple of hit, three hits tonight, and then there's been some nonsense with uh, a few other things happening on the Tatis just being the most amazing <laughs> The most amazing outfielder I've ever seen. Just give that man the National League platinum glove for this year right now. That man, he robbed a home run. He, he robbed Julio of a nice base, what would have been a nice base hit. He made some amazing, absolutely amazing plays while he was out there in the field. And, you know, sometimes you just... He just sometimes you just gotta tip your cap to the other team. And that's what we did here. Um What else was I gonna say? Uh it's been a pretty good game. And in uh other news today, the NFL banned the hip drop tackle, which from what I understand it involves coming down with your leg or with your entire body weight on the back of the leg. 
and I don't fully understand why. Now, I understand that they want to make the say game safer. Uh, and it's very important to make football safer. But the thing about me is I don't really watch football for football uh, anymore because, like, I understand how dangerous it is. So I watch and then I react and see, like, what I can learn. And I hang out, like, in medical doctors who react to its videos all the time asking things like, hey, why did this happen? How did that happen? So it's more of a thing for me to learn about how to avoid injuring myself and how the human body can get injured. Um, but I would really like the players to get safer. I don't watch for the injuries. I watch to learn and hopefully maybe someday, you know, make football safe. But I don't think you can make football safe. safe. I don't think you can make football safe. And it's going to be interesting to see how the NFL enforces this. According to the NFL, it happens about once every game. Uh, and you'll probably see a flag every five to six games. Which, those two things don't add up, but it's because it's like they want the referees to be 100% certain that there is going to be a hip drop tackle. I don't like it, but uh, I don't know. Like, the targeting rule is so much easier to enforce, but this rule, th it seems like it's going to be a huge problem. Going back to the Mariners, definitely had a lot of plate discipline today. Hitters were not striking out much. I think we only had a couple, three or four, maybe five which is a lot lower because we were the first team last year to have three or four players with 200 plus strikeouts in major league baseball history, which is not good. Just, 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 you can, that 600 plate appearances that resulted in nothing. Generally when you strike, strike out, nothing good happens. There's been a few walk-off strikeouts in the history of baseball. And I'm excited to see this team in action. Uh, day game tomorrow in San Diego, about 4 o'clock my time. My late class is canceled. I should be home to watch it. Excuse me. And on top of that, the other thing we have going on with the Mariners is a game off on Thursday, or a day off on Wednesday. Everybody's off on Wednesday, and then everybody plays on Thursday. It'll be a 10-10 game. Normally, Thursday games at home are 9-40. So, it'll actually be a 7-10 game, not 6-40. Sorry, that's my time. Uh, I think it'll be exciting. It's actually raining in San Diego right now. It's sh eh. I'm sure, you know, they're going to finish out playing this game, or they'll just call it at the bottom of the ninth. Um, there's not much to go. There's five outs left in the game. Very excited about the way the Mariners are going. Very excited to see how this team goes.